What did you need? Fixing two problems at once. 
halting the spread of the city's terramorph outbreak and sealing away knowledge of the plant's potential. These were the final days of the colony war, Captain. The Freestar Collective had spies everywhere. I was concerned that if word got out, the Collective could swoop down, start breeding Lazarus plants, and overrun our worlds with waves of terramorphs. Just like what was happening on Lindinian at that very moment. Sealing off the city to prevent mass death, it was the only option that made sense at the time. Let's not forget the importance of our actual endgame. 
eliminating the Terramorphs, securing knowledge of the Lazarus plant. What we've set in motion is going to protect thousands, maybe millions of lives. I'm simply requesting one more life be protected. Mine. I've already sent along the evidence of Orlaza's role in the attacks to the Cabinet, leaving out my own involvement. All I ask is that you confirm as much to the Cabinet. Tell them that it was Orlaze and Orlaze alone. After all, I do still have a long list of threats to the UC. This needn't be the end of our good works together. Splendid. Then I won't keep you. You've got important work, after all. Here's to a bright future. Yes? Perfect timing. We just got in. So on our end, good news. The Microbe and the Aceles are both as effective against heat leeches as they are against Terramorphs. Means either plan should work for clearing those critters off our worlds. Considering what the Lazarus plant is capable of, I don't think we can deal with those things fast enough. I already sent along info to the Cabinet to get them up to speed. So what about your end? Did you find anything? Any leads on who might have committed the attacks? <sighs> Do what you have to. So... That seems unlikely, considering he's been dust for about 20 years. I'm sure the Captain just misspoke. Right? No, no, that's impossible. He's gone. My father is dead. The Colony War Butcher lives, unfortunately. That's about the understatement of the century. A couple of choice full letter words came to mind for me. Alive. Fay Victus is alive? How... How did you find him? Wait. You knew he was alive and didn't tell us? You were sworn to... You... You swore. You were just doing your duty, weren't you? Yeah, I guess I, of all people, should know what a burden that can be. Doesn't mean I'm not mad. But I guess you letting us know late is preferable to never. Now at least we can inform the Cabinet and let them deal with him. Exactly. The people he harmed deserve justice. But now... Now I guess we've got our answer. Nothing left to do but put it all in front of the Cabinet. Any last things we needed to discuss? This might be our last opportunity to talk things through before the Cabinet weighs in on a decision regarding the Terramorphs. Ah. 
Then here we go. Welcome back, all of you. I wish we were meeting under better circumstances. But according to Hadrian's report and the second one I just received, it seems the Terramorph attack on New Atlantis was no random occurrence, but a planned strike. Is what I'm reading here true? The second report claims to know the perpetrator as well. Did Reginald Orlais actually commit these attacks, Captain? Orlais? It's true, ma'am. I heard the recording myself. My father figured out how to use Terramorphs as weapons. He did what? That... that... that's impossible. He doesn't have the kind of access to... Clearly, he made his own access, Chief Sarkin. Madam President, I have been saying for years that not dealing with that man was gonna end in tragedy. Enough! I hope everyone here understands that what has just been shared is a state secret of the highest order. This information does not leave this room. Now, that's quite the accusation you're leveling considering Francois Sanon has not left containment for the better part of two decades. You have evidence to back this up? It just transformed a terramorph out of thin air. An invisible weapon. No planet would be safe. Heavens help us. I is that actually him? I'd know that voice anywhere. That's Francois. He knew they could do this. And said nothing. He's a sociopath. Plain and simple, ma'am. Officer, please collect that recording. Yes, ma'am. Begging your pardon, Captain? We'll, of course, be launching a full investigation into how this could have happened. Though I have little doubt the Admiral will be quick to share all he knows on the subject once confronted with that recording. Chief Yassin, can you send one of your interrogators to have a little chat with the Admiral? I'll issue the order immediately. Good. Combined with everything else you all have uncovered. Well, I don't think the United Colonies can thank you enough. We failed the people of the Colonies by not dealing with Vavicta sooner. I intend to rectify that mistake immediately. I'm inclined to agree, Captain. Now, with our villain unmasked, we can attend to the other matters at hand. With the threads you've brought together here, the Lazarus plant, the attacks, the heat leeches, the three of you have likely spared thousands of lives, but it now falls to the cabinet to ensure this can never happen again. As such, the Cabinet will be securing the Lazarus plant on Londinian. All materials related to the plant will be classified to ensure no one else learns its true nature. A sound decision, Madam President. We're already discussing the elimination of one species, Captain. Explain to me why you wish to eliminate another. I'm not sure I like what you're suggesting. The UC's only plan is to protect lives. Though, I won't discount that perhaps your proposal could get us closer to that goal, so... Explain to me your thinking in destroying the plant.
To be truly sure this cannot happen again, this is the only sensible course of action. Eliminate all possibility. And once Ve Victus has been dealt with, this problem can end here. And allow us to focus on the grander task to come. Very well. We'll clean up the plant. Thank you for the suggestion, Captain. So then, to our final topic. The Cabinet has agreed to implement a plan that will deal with the Terramorph, and now also Heatleech's presence on human worlds. In fact, we've already begun enacting measures to check all UC ports and settlements for undiscovered nests. But we all understand this is only a partial solution. The project we're embarking on will be a long and difficult one. So our first step must be deciding how exactly this all will be handled. Madam President, this microbe is clearly too much of a risk. The Asili's are the safer approach. To someone with limited knowledge of biology, perhaps? The technology behind the microbe is solved science, Madam President. It isn't dangerous. Using it to wipe out the Terramorphs would be the quickest path to protecting humanity. And fast results always lead to the best outcomes, don't they? As you can see, there remains debate among the Cabinet. We were hoping your group might issue a recommendation. Major? We've had a few discussions, but our group is similarly split. Only the Captain has yet to weigh in. I see. Captain, I know this may not be your area of expertise, but we'd like to know your take on the matter. Glad to see someone's not afraid of a little applied genetics. The science division is in full agreement. Let us hope this science division truly knows what they are doing. Grand threats merit grand actions, and grand actions are precisely what our group does. Order, please. And Major Sinan? Dr. Walker, you'd find this acceptable? We trust the captain's judgment. Then the matter is settled. We'll begin the process immediately. Today, marks day one for the United Colonies Terramorph Management Division, making you three the founding members of the TMD. As befits such a group, the Cabinet wanted to display its gratitude. Today, we will be adding three new Class I citizens to our ranks. Class I? For the three of us? Are you joking? What he means to say is, Thank you, ma'am. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you, ma'am. You all have earned it. Now, there's much to be done. Major Sinan, Dr. Walker, I hope you two are willing to continue your efforts spearheading the TMD's research on Mars. We'd be honored, ma'am. As for you, Captain, the Vanguard will be providing much of the on-the-ground support for the TMD. As a member of both the Vanguard and the TMD, I believe you'll have your pick of duties. Speak to your commander, Tuala, if I recall correctly. He should be able to provide you with assignments going forward, plus help you collect the benefits that come with being named Class One. On behalf of the whole of the United Colonies, you have our sincerest gratitude. This meeting is adjourned.